from the store at webhouses.co.uk. Now this is very odd distribution because it asks for a password. I mean before installing. Windows hates any other operating system and deletes club the startup menu when you are dual booting, uh, multiple booting. You can reinstall the grub of any operating system you last used if you use Super Grub 2, also available at the store. Now, this video covers the installation of Macro Linux, which also installs from RAM and not uh, installing it from RAM, that takes a great deal of time. I will show you how to set the desktop desktop up, add slide screen show to the desktop and some tutorials on Thunderbird, the email client, the uh, LibreOffice which is the uh, uh, equivalent of, of uh, Microsoft Office, uh, it's actually better than your Office the only thing it doesn't do is make PDF files. Uh, but uh, when Windows uh, Office does it, they, uh, there's so many mistakes, uh, you, might, uh, you might as well go to an external website which does it for free and far better. I'll also uh, do a tutorial on Grub. I will show you how to install programs from the terminal. And but you can't comment if you haven't subscribed. As well as helpful advice is appreciated. Please watch it to the end as I hope the tutorial on setting up the desktop and uh, and and all the other tutorials will be great help there is not a day that goes by that uh, i don't know uh, do a few seconds on gimp to make an image usually for putting on twitter or facebook now it's asking for passwords And uh, username is Makalu and password also is Makalu. KDN Live, a video editing program, and I'll use that to edit this uh, video and cut out the long spaces. So now we have the desktop up of the live version. So if we want to install it, we click on live installer. You have to do it quick, quickly. Ah, right. Okay, we're still loading. Now there's a little piggy. The chief, big chief has spoken. That's Makalu. It's all supposed to be Makalu, an African for Big Chief, President or the Big Daddy. I like Big Daddy first. Now let's choose British English because we can spell colour correctly and tomato. Oh that's only pronunciation isn't it? Oh I, I, I like aluminium. Aluminium. Right, next, it's found we're in London because of the Ethernet connection. Uh, maybe it also includes uh, uh, Africa. 
in the time zone. So it's found English keyboard we won't change that. Now we do because I've got five systems on this, including Mac U Linux already. I use man, uh, manual partitioning. If you've only got Windows on it, you just uh, you take the first option along alongside. But I've got multiple partitions. You've got five five of them here. I select the last one, which is an Mac U Linux. Uh, so I delete it. Uh, it's a free space. Leave it gives me 149 gigabytes. I click on it. I create it, and I, I enter a mount point. A mount point is a backslash. I've never worked out what all the others are, do, do. One day I'll, I'll do that and click OK. OK. So. Uh, the next screen is uh, what is your name? I put Gina because my email address is gina at ginamurray.co.uk. So if you've got any questions, please don't please contact us and. Uh, then we can uh, answer your questions. Now we have to put a password in. Usual rules apply. It must be a complex one. Now it says login automatically so i will do that but if you have other people in your household it's best to uh, untick that box and uh, i click next so it says it's going to install here in the red partition uh, as you see, at, uh, as, uh, uh, yes, it's already de uh, decided uh, it's taken its uh, Maculin and it's out. Uh, so the red bit will be Maculin and so we'll in install. I think it gives us another option. Oh no, this one doesn't give you another option. Are you sure? Mm. Right. Uh, I don't know why it's got mushrooms on its uh, the pictures. Maybe it's some African mushrooms. It does say on this DVD it has Play on Linux and Steam. Well, it does do. These are very interesting programs. Uh, Steam is for gamers and uh, now Linux has the NVIDIA drivers he had, didn't have for a long while uh, because they, they were being restricted on letting Linux not know about them because the open source uh, uh, license agreements people should be able to see them but it's only for their, their, uh, their machines and uh, so I don't know why they come up with that so it's going uh, on unsqua uh, unsquashing the file system uh, and uh, we, we won't uh, get back to you un uh, until it's all finished. Uh, right, ah right, it's, uh, yes it's, it does have, do have a slideshow that tells you things there. Now the other mention was a play on Linux. Play on Linux is very good because it allows you to to run uh, Windows programs on top of Linux desktop. Ideally, like this, you dual boot with Windows, uh, and then you disconnect your Windows from the internet. That way, you won't uh, won't get infected because. Uh, 
or Linux is uh, immune. There are, there, there are antivirus programs in, in it, uh, but uh, for the past three years there have been no attacks on Linux protected by the community and especially since it doesn't use root anymore. The early Linux uh, versions had root uh, and uh, that's equivalent to administrator in Windows uh, and, and so it's very difficult to attack. Uh, I had one, one person actually that uh, was being attacked and uh, so he didn't uh, set his password on the desktop so he uh, i told him to he got attacked again so he uh, he uh, put the password on then the next week he was back again saying he'd been attacked anyway it turns out that a man had been coming in an ex-neighbor had been coming in and hacking his desktop um, and so that's the reason he, he, he thought he was getting it through the Wi-Fi but no it's, uh, so he beat him up and uh, not seen him since and had no more trouble he had some very expensive hardware as well that, that they kept destroying destroyed all his phones and his uh, and he was a very nasty nasty person Anyway, uh, so, right, it tells you what firewall protection, uh, they all have firewall protection. Uh, so, some of these I've never seen before, constructor, but there's always a backup system, and uh, on its distros, and of course, you it's a good idea to keep backing up but, and especially if you can back up onto another device just like Windows if you get ransomware uh, then you can encrypt your disk you see uh, I'm not sure what happens if you, you encrypt your disk first of all whether they can do, do anything with it probably they can you never know so we've got a live chat room to chat, so check it out. And the uh, first question I'm going to ask them is why it needs a password to install. Uh, it's the only disk through that uh, I've found that does that. And then you have to find out what password is and username. Uh, so. I can't remember how I found that out. Yes. I was using a RAM install which doesn't have the password popping up. But uh, I, I, I did that before and it did pass up. Uh, so maybe this newer version is asking the password again. Yes, this is the latest version. Uh, in fact, I, I'll have another look and see if there's uh, an even later version soon. Because uh, I, I hope they leave out this password. Uh, they, uh, the 32-bit 30, version is very, very old and uh, they don't seem to be supporting 32-bit anymore. Uh, and the desktop is... Uh, not not as kit, uh, smart as this there's icons at the bottom uh, on the screen uh, as well as the uh, no I don't think it has a panel uh, actually so the reason I'm doing this uh, with the camera is I cannot make this work in virtual box which all the other distros work so that is another thing I should uh, I, I'll try to find out uh, from VirtualBox and uh, Alex Forums. Does anybody ever actually got Macaulay and Linux to work in a virtual box? This is a 64-bit version. It showed the 32-bit uh, version there. Uh, 
and as I said that's very old. So we will wait till it's finished and I'll come back to you in a moment but uh, uh, I, there is my uh, If you go to the panel and it it has a little mountains yes that's it uh, there's a pop-up screen and you've got a wallpaper selector you click on that and the wallpaper comes up I don't know if it uh, oh yes there you are there's the wallpapers so if I click on the wallpaper I, yes it does change right and of course in that wallpaper selector you you can uh, let, let's see if I can find it uh, wallpaper selector and uh, yes um, I clicked it to remove it but but uh, in there somewhere you you can set up to keep changing the wallpaper whatever uh, time you want as I say I set it for one minute which I should, I will do when we have installed I won't be using the camera then I'll be using VLC VLC is, is part of uh, uh, the uh, packages uh, and I'll show you how to install uh, FileZilla and Genie which you use for creating websites I'll show you how to make your own websites uh, and, and get domain names and, and low cost hosting uh, the tutorials are on that page uh, I, uh, and there will uh, I get images from, from web houses uh, .co .uk to uh, to do the image editing because we won't have any any photos at the, at the moment so uh, I'll give a, a demonstration uh, by taking some photos uh, and taking some text uh, from the site uh, from uh, Libre Office uh, and um, if I remember to uh, do some translating we can change it into Chinese or any other language uh, uh, which I do often I get requests from Italy and they, they speak in Italian and I reply in Italian so I think that might, uh, might impress them yes uh, we've only got 20% uh, so far so I will I will uh, edit this as I say with KDN Live uh, so it doesn't take so long all done so you take the media out now and switch this Well, this is the front page of uh, the Macro Linux, and we're going to add things here. Let's have a look what it says here. Set up network. Well, I'm connected to the Ethernet, so that's okay. Check for updates. That's okay. Driver manager. I think it's working all right. Set up a firewall. Um, and snapshot manager choose your preferred theme below it would change instantly next right so what I will do is I would I will try and put the uh, uh, the uh, packages that do the de the wallpaper now uh, usually is in in um, uh, desktop yes no it's not that's not it, it. Um, um, yes. uh, 
and finish with that. Now uh, let's have an, another look. Um, it could be, I, I know. In the preferences, usually have have it. Uh, date defects display. Ah, backgrounds. Yes, it's backgrounds here, and they're all popping up there. So, uh, and of course, they can change the background by doing that. Now, uh, I think we can change wallpaper selector. That um, that uh, yes. Now, how do we? Make it time. Uh, position. Hmm. Preferences. Ah, ah, there you are. Uh, preferences. Change wallpaper every two hours. Well, that's a bit long. We'll do more in a minute and we'll put one minute there. So, you go to this little icon here. Uh, it's next to the loudspeaker. It's got a little mountain. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's supposed to mean. And, and then you go to preferences, and you get this box up here. So I close that, and uh, uh, I click on backgrounds to remove it. You see that clock in the system settings. So, we have uh, nice pictures that appear. I think we can remove this if we want it to, but it's very useful. Uh, I've never seen it in anything else. On the, uh, that's it immediately on the screen. Uh, right. Now, what uh, we'll, we'll do is I'm, I'm going to I made a video of installing this, um, which you should have seen before, uh, and this is the extension to it. Uh, and th this, um, I'm going to put the two videos together. I think the sound level will be considerably different because I was using the iPhone 6s for that. And and uh, my problem was I couldn't I could never get the uh, the virtual box to work for uh, for uh, Maco Linux. So I had to do the installation with the iPhone 6s. Uh, so the quality is is not as good. As this is a direct, this is called a simple screen recorder, which I have uh, on uh, I'm working in a, in a terminal. You type simple screen recorder. That is after you've installed it. Now I think the first one to d do is to uh, find uh, software and. Uh, we put the software onto the screen. Uh, there we are, the battery. Ideal uh, idea. The battery got lots of energy and it's all in there. So I right click and add it to the panel. And I right click and add it to the desktop. Now, it is, needs two clicks on the desktop. Uh, and only one click on the bottom bottom line. Uh, let's see, didn't click fast enough, or is it not coming up? Well, I click it on the, the bottom desktop. Yes, ah, there we are. Right now, uh, communication and news, audio and video. I, I'm sure it'd be in there. Uh, so, and we don't do top rated, we change it to the name because then it's alphabetical. Uh, so, 
uh, we look for KDE Live and we click it and we click on install and with everything that you add you need a password uh, so that will install and we'll be able to edit this this video I'm making and the simple screen recorder records it in dot ogv so I hope KDN Live will be happy with that uh, uh, format in the end I, I make it into M MPEG 4 because that's the highest definition and for this screen recorder I'm sure it's not important um, it takes a larger file up but um, unfortunately YouTube uh, uh, won't mind and uh, maybe we can try to install it uh, later so we can launch it from here and uh, yes it doesn't seem to want to launch maybe it's taking its time uh, so we check sound and video there it's KDN Live we add it to our, our desktop and we add it to the, pa uh, uh, the panel now I click on it to get it to work yeah we are it's working so I don't know why it launch didn't work it usually work, uh, launches so uh, now to put it in a, a, a picture uh, let's see if we've got one um, uh, we look in videos unfortunately I haven't got any videos yet to, to add so I'll come back to that later and close this down uh, it wouldn't let me close down if I had done, done any work in there it asked me to set, save uh, the files uh, once you've edited it, you, um, you, you've got to uh, um, um, uh, set, set, save the recording as well separately um, so uh, that is one now we go back to our battery again uh, and um, we want to get uh, uh, two things here FileZilla and Genie FileZilla is for making websites oh it's not supported oh well well we'll have to do that from the terminal then I'm surprised that's not supported oh, well, yeah. no I haven't had it working before uh, so we can get a terminal up and we do sudo su and this will avoid is always having to put sudo every time in front in front and we do apt install filezilla Oh, it says it has it. Ah, now. Why is that then? Uh, internet. Oh, it, it does have it already. So, we add it to the panel. I didn't realise it added to as well. Uh, we add it to the panel and we add it to the desktop 
by right clicking we, we find these things now the other one we want is genie which goes along with with filezilla when you edit a program genie is what is called up if you if you have it of course right. yes so we say yes and we install uh, genie now we put it next to filezilla on the panel because it's very convenient to have those two together so uh, there we are it's uh, in programming because it's a programming uh, tool as well and it's intuitive uh, and um, adds things automatically we write writing code and seeing that so we add it to the panel and add it to the, the desktop so we got our genie and we've got uh, uh, filezilla this is in alphabetical order now we've got something in the rubbish bin here it's uh, my last fi uh, uh, file uh, of uh, testing the screen recorder so I click on empty the rubbish bin empty the rubbish bin so uh, we let's see if there's anything else uh, yes um, oh this has already got chrome and I was uh, that that comes automatically um, I don't particularly like chrome because he has to ask for a password to start uh, but of course uh, when you when you've done uh, enter the password then then you don't need it after that uh, i'm not sure what that's all about now uh i found v, v, vlc media player doesn't work uh on recording uh, uh, so so that's why i've had to use a different one i tried kazam which is also a screen recorder and didn't get very uh, far with that um, and uh, uh, there you are. so you got record my desktop is actually on there so I can add it to the desktop uh, I'm using I'm, I'm using it on, in the terminal uh, so I add it, add it on the panel so I hope this is not going to me uh, mess this up now um, what else can we do now we, we just make sure we have GIMP Sound. oh no we don't have GIMP now that is very unusual uh, I'm surprised they haven't got GIMP so we, we go to a terminal uh, I shouldn't have closed it down so early and do so sudo su and unlike other terminals and you do sudo su it doesn't ask for a password very unusual all other distros ask for a password when you're doing s, s sudo su uh, so we'll do the uh, apt install uh, gimp which means gnu image mapping processor i'm not sure the m is right i click yes yes it's found it and we install it now this is a very large package so, so it can, can take take uh, a while and you see it goes to the ubuntu repository because this is this um Maku, uh, the big daddy is based on uh, based on uh, ubuntu so uh we we we'll leave, leave that up in case we want it uh, 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 later. Uh, no, no, we want it. We 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 need, we we put it down down downstairs. Let, leave it up in case we want want it. Uh, yes, uh, yes. I, I I've not been calling them up in the right order. You see, so I've got several of them down here in the terminal on the panel. These these in the panel here are active ones this is the start one on, on the left hand side 
uh, and I've got two uh, Firefoxes active I close that one down uh, close tabs and uh, I, I was looking for the, the best Linux screen savers I close that one down uh, right I uh, seem to have got a lot of folders left up here uh, uh, lo looking for the videos uh, I think I closed some of these down as well and uh, tidy it up a little bit uh, now what's this green one ah yes these are green folders uh, that's the sound settings and you see this is my microphone level so we can always that one down uh, that's it. and I've got it up again system settings I did that for the backgrounds uh, home folder you see I'm recording here and that's my recording output that out.ogv of course you can rename it whatever you want uh, and a rubbish bin which I've emptied um, yes so I can see I have developed bad ha habits uh, because I uh, I uh, keep putting them down to the panel rather than deleting them but um, I have to keep this, this one up because this is my recording uh, one these are the two um, uh, I use for uh, the uh, uh, putting uh, uh, the fi Firefox and GIMP in. I'm surprised that GIMP uh, it was processed in the software manager. Um, it's a very unusual because it was it was listed um, so now what we want to do is get some pictures so I uh, get some pictures from this website which has lots of pictures and some interesting text and how to install uh, install uh, Windows 12 Lite um, I only use that for demonstration so this is a web houses we take this picture because we can use it because we we can we can uh, see that mobile phones we, we we take that out and make an individual picture so we save image as uh, uh, in pictures and we call it um, uh, uh, image one yes so that's saved now we want to get a nice picture this is a product that it sells um, I want to get a nice castle uh, there's a missing picture there and that's my old car my old car I sold unfortunately I have to go to high court over that matter because there, there always the devices right, right uh, uh, save image as uh, devices castle and we put in pictures yes it's, uh, it's decided that now this is this box you click on it and it, you can go and, and get the name domain names for the UK and dot com uh, prices are going down all the time on, on these domain names so I don't know what the latest price is, is. and you get hosting for, for £17.50 a year so uh, this is um, uh, uh, regarded as a button uh, as a big button and so I um, 
uh, I'll save that save image as uh, I call it domains because we'll be making something out of that which I hope you you find interesting uh, so I think we've got uh, I think we've got uh, oh oh yes I, I know what we want to do uh, we get LibreOffice up uh, I, I presume we have an office yes we uh, we have a LibreOffice uh, we let we we'll add it to the desktop and we'll add it to the panel because we'll be using that and another one we'll also be using we go to the internet oh oh that is fair that's a very interesting they don't have Thunderbird so I don't know what they are using for for uh, for your mail cl uh, client so we, we'll have to go and get um, uh, Thunderbird uh, let, let's do it from from, from um, we'll leave that there we'll go, don't, don't start it yet uh, see see we get that from the software manager instead uh, if not we can come back and do it on the terminal terminal is usually faster so we go to a software again and uh, uh, communications so because that it should be communications uh, I, it's protesting because I don't know uh, communications and news and we look for Thunderbird uh, Thunderbird most distros have Thunderbird automatically and quite uh, it's quite odd it doesn't have Gimp and Thunderbird, uh, yes. Uh, Skype, Thunderbird, Steam, Thunderbird. Oh, now, now isn't that really odd? No Thunderbird. Oh, hmm. communication in the news. Uh, let's go back to see audio and video would it be in there or productivity audio and video yeah uh, it usually comes up in the internet so I'm so surprised surprised Thunderbird is not here We see we we've, we've got a a, um, a burner, and I think it's the burner is XF burner already. So we look at XF burners. So if you got a burner, uh, oh yes, uh, so it's got USB creator, uh, so you can create uh, USBs. Uh, so uh now preferences anyway we we we'll have to add add one so that's two things we need to add um we can go 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 to software again uh audio and video video and we should find uh, K3B uh, K K3B ah there we are K3B so we can install K3B that's it for disk burning 
so we need to password again and then we authenticate so that while, while it's installing we we would install Thunderbird oh that says we've already got Thunderbird Now why is that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's because of trigger, uh, or maybe it tried to to do it before. Let's see if we have it by typing Thunderbird. Ah, and we tried to install it, copying in a terminal you have the whole control and sh shift down at the same time and pasting control and shift at the same time with V oh it's accepted it now oh I wonder why it wasn't that wasn't found that's only when I typed it in the way I got, got it. So, I'll give a demonstration on Thunderbird and um, uh, open a mail, uh, email account. Uh, of course, you don't need a disk burner if you you, you don't have uh, a disk drive. I think all PCs should have disk drive. The uh, Macs have gone out and, and left disk drives out. I don't know why. So uh, we um, we we'll, we'll start with Thunderbird. We can do a quick demonstration on Thunderbird. The mail client now it's appeared here. It's always in the internet. So we add it to the desktop and we add it to the panel because we're always sending mails. Very popular pastime. Right, so now where is the Thunderbird? Hmm. Ah, there you are. So, uh, we, we click on that. We only need to one click on the panel so ah, it's very unusual uh, on other systems it pops up with with the, your, your your name uh, but uh, this one has decided not to so we have uh, the help file installed in webs windows 12 lite at mail.com and uh, we can use this help file to see what we what we're doing what we're going to to do and there's the there's the uh, inbox it's taking a time to to find it now if you want if you want to uh, I don't know where you're seeing the pointer with this one uh, if you want to uh, you click on that on the heavy type to add other mailboxes and so you can click on email to get get that first one back again uh, so we have a look at the inbox and ah yes it's now appeared now uh, that's installing uh, t uh, tutorials and so I'll copy this by control uh, control C and then uh, we'll uh, uh, we'll get a uh, writer up it's the latest one it gives tips and everything so uh, we leave no more tips uh, but you can you you uh, you can 
go through the these tips uh, if you were not uh, learn uh, learn it uh, and it's, it's something new here so uh, we, we copy it here with control V and we, we say control S and we have to give it a name and it will go into now that's a new look because it uh, normally sets it up automatically as documents no. yeah, so we do, we do that so we may call this work right now uh, we'll, we'll uh, get, remove the release notes there um, now Are we short on megabytes? Yes, I, I didn't load this in the very, very much, so I hope we're not going to run out of space. Uh, hmm. Right. Yeah. Now it's not allowing me to to see what uh, the document is. Is it usually it, it, it's files as are there yeah, it's there uh, this is a bit different from before because it usually was in the center here but it says work dot odt if you want to save it as something else uh, a doc file you save it with work dot doc so you can have it as a Microsoft document. And uh, and save. It protests, uh, and uh, so we use Word anti -sem. Now you can do that for 29 different um, uh, um, applications uh, doc and uh, uh, many many word processing programs and the only one that's different is if you want to save it as a PDF file you go down there export as a PDF file and you say export save it to the documents and then you've got uh, that as a PDF file and uh, a dot .odt and a dot .doc uh, so that's uh, that's all we need for the moment and uh, now now I was uh, I want to have click on this uh, one uh, the three lines and we want to add, go to add-ons click on add-ons and uh, now we want to find lightning unfortunately extensions yes. search for add-ons so we want lightning this uh, this version we add it to the thunderbird it needs restart so we add it to thunderbird and So that extension, I'll come back la later to it, is uh, is to put a calendar on Thunderbird. And uh, oh, it's already put it in, so it didn't need to do that. Uh, it's put it in already. So this is a very useful feature. 
we, we, uh, we make a new event and say we're going to the doctor oh, the location surgery and uh, it's not an all day event so uh, we just change the time to to uh, nine o'clock now uh, that is if you want to keep repeating now you want to add a reminder so we do two days before and then uh, then we save and close now it's popped up there because it's telling us that in two days uh, if it was a, a, a later uh, it wouldn't have popped up so we we snooze it for another day so it'll pop up another day and then we can do an hour so we don't forget it and it will make a bit of noise now talking about noise uh, so uh, uh, so now I want to add uh, there's a file on here ah, there we are menu bar right so we make a menu bar and then we go to edit preferences and we want to play a sound when you get a message uh, it hasn't uh, got a message so we're going to find the file folder uh, so we find a message uh, um, appropriate messages uh, so I, I say uh, uh, I have mail uh, audios right uh, now I think this is the one I used last time. Ah, oh, yes, that's right. Okay. Um, we we'll, we we'll add it as a wave file. Download sound file. Save file. And so it's downloaded set the file and that should be found uh, in the files in downloads so if we click on it it should play I've got mail this is going to be cool <laughs> yeah right that call up VLC player so uh, we copy it we make it uh, in home and we put it in music and paste it in music now we go back to the general use the following soul fi file browse music and we add that open now we can test it by play I've got mail this is going to be cool <laughs> yeah. right ok so I think that's a quick tutorial on Thunderbird calculators uh, you can look upcoming 15 days uh, and it's at 15 days tomorrow uh, hmm, I didn't find the doctors 
but I'm sure I'm sure the doctors is in there somewhere yeah. oh let's put in a new event in let's see if we yes well it will pop up it always does yeah. uh, now that's my whatsapp warning now I have this lady in uh, in Africa um, one of the Ivory Coast uh, ones uh, who likes to uh, send me messages every day and we have a chat on WhatsApp. WhatsApp's very good. Uh, we won't uh, in, uh, put it on here. So we we've, we've done Thunderbird and briefly done uh, Word documents. So we can uh, and we put some pictures in the pictures. And uh, if we go to the files and look at the pictures we can click on it and it should come up oh it comes up in GIMP in this way and, uh, this, this is very good so it's brought up GIMP uh, and uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll fetch up uh, this one as well names now this is actually working a little bit different from uh, from the uh, other gimps so I don't know which version this one is uh, but I, I like it actually better than, than, than the new version because the new version has all the pictures that you've been doing here uh, so, ah, so no, really okay. oh dear, I've lost my gimp. Mm, there is gimp again. So, the open gimps are down on the panel. Now, with gimp, we want to make a new uh, picture so we make a flagpole so we give it a height of, um, of 600 600 and we give it a width of 20 pixels now of course you can change the pixels to inches uh, or uh, or uh, millimeters, uh, but I find pixels. This is a lot easier for me because 70 pixels is one inch on the screen, and uh, so we're going to make six inches on this screen here because it's at 600 pixels. Right, so that's uh, 600 divided by 70. Where you can work out, it's at, so it's uh, probably at eight inches, right? So we say OK, and there we have our first flagpole. Mm, that's a bit fatter than before. Now we we can set the colour by going foregrounds and backgrounds here on the left hand side in the toolbox. Uh, but what we want to do is make a blue flagpole. So we go here to the colour uh, dropper, eyedropper we click on that and we click on the blue and we say OK and now you see we've got white or, uh, uh, foreground and, and um, the background is, uh, sorry uh, it's the other way around uh, white is the background now we take the bucket here the bucket fill tool and we move it over and click onto the flagpole and now we've got blue flagpole now uh, it looks enormously small there oh, 
the perspective. So what we do, ah, now this is different. Ah, edit, no, no, it's not. Copy, edit, and copy. Now, the next process here, you have to go to the rain rectangle because it won't allow you to move things. So we go to the picture, edit and paste. And there we have our flagpole in the wrong place, so we put it here. Now I'm sorry it's not a wall, but pretend the bushes have got clamps in to hold the flagpole. Now we could it could still keep moving around so what we have to do is flatten the image so we go to image and flatten the image and now the pole is fixed in the picture uh, but we've not saved it yet so don't worry about it now uh, we click on this one and there we got the uh, uh, the the board up um, which we're going to make into a for sale board so uh, we click on the blue we get the eyedropper we click on the red so we've got the red one and we've got the red as the foreground so we get the, br the brush and the brush is a bit too small at the moment so uh, we make it bigger by going to the size and doesn't really matter a big size is a bit much more useful oh let's see. still um, make it unread nice uh, right, so okay there we got the big one so now we uh, we can remove everything in the, in the image and that's uh, finished there so now we go to the text there the text tool but before we do that we check we change the colors over to make the foreground white so we can have white text so we have white text now we go to the text tool and we make it in in bold no no we won't, won't, won't uh, yes yes we'll make it bold and now we can set a text box there and we could type for sale there, there but what we will do is uh, is we go to our word document uh, open the recent documents uh, .odt and we've got for sale there it doesn't matter about the size of this one because it, uh, it takes the size you have in the text box so I go to the text box hover over it and say control V and it's got for sale now that's too small so we go to the text tools option and we make it larger so we make it as large as we can without going over see so it's 68 pixels is acceptable right we now um, go to image flatten image and it's now fixed on the board so now we uh, we then do another text box and uh, we go to the uh, Libra office again ah that's it uh, and 
we can control copy and then uh, we hover over it and say control V ah I didn't I must not have copied that properly yes Control Control Copy. Let's see other control B. Ah, there we are. Ah, yeah, yeah. Let's He doesn't remember that now. Why is it going on? Hmm. Oh, I recorded the same thing. No, what I wanted to record was this. Control copy. Put that down. Hover over it. Uh, that would be too large now, so. We reduce the text and it's put itself in anyway, uh, and then we we make it oh we we make it larger, not too large. Uh, fill that up. Then we want to make this space this into the middle. Yeah. Right, so there's our four sales part of our four sales over there. So we select uh, image, flatten image, and put another. text box there now we right this time we use apply oh somebody stole my L this please apply uh, make it bigger but not too big no good should be big enough for sale and uh, we can move it down a little bit and leave it there of course I could put a little picture in here if I wanted to of a house uh, hmm. but never mind I'll do that next time Let's see. Actually, the picture. We are now going to do another uh, GIMP, and this is uh, we'll look at uh, in the pictures, and we'll open that one with GIMP. Now, we first start with a rectangle and we choose this. Now this is a mobile phone backup adapter where you put a card in. In this instance it has uh, the installation of Windows 10 and Linux 19 with Office as well. So, if we uh, we we'll do a rectangle, we do Control X. It removes it. Then we do Control Shift and V, and we have a new picture. Now we can. Uh, export that 
uh, so we'll export it uh, we'll call it uh, the backup backup right and export so uh, oh I don't think it exported it to the right place uh, export as export to backup ping uh, export as uh, backup ping oh it went into documents uh, so let's have it and do it doing that so we'll export it to pictures. Now we have it in the pictures. Uh, hmm, interesting. It came up with flowers first. Now, there are lots of reasons you sometimes need to resize these. So what we'll do is resize this. And... Uh, we go to image scale image now it sets uh, it's 307 pixels uh, which is uh, 108 millimeters uh, so we'll make it smaller we shouldn't make things bigger because it loses definition if you want to make some uh, make it bigger you can do but it's best to start off with the biggest picture you can and then reduce it so we scale it it's now reduced so we can uh, export uh, export as backup small uh, so, that my later video is uh, using that to install Windows 10, uh, and then I'll be able to use vir uh, Virtual Box to work on it. And uh, yes, so we uh, that should be okay. Um, right now what we're going to do is a different one we close our gimp down the best way is to ah uh, let's close pictures now we have to go to file and quit or you could have used the X and discard all the changes now uh, let us go and some translate some document. Oh, first of all, oh, before we do that, let us just go to some uh, documents we have. Uh, so we go to files, documents, and there we have. Uh, the work we're going to do here right it also gives you tips so we say okay now we have here Windows light and of course I'm going to change that to Macaloo but we'll just do Windows Lite for the time being. So you do Control A to copy everything, and that's our first procedure. Now we want to translate that. So we go to uh, to our uh, Firefox. And we go and search for 
Google Translate. Always getting uh, getting uh, these uh, messages from Italy mainly complaining they haven't got their goods because <laughs> I think I suspect it, the the mail uh, people keep stealing them. I, th I suppose it's still run by the mafia. So this is Google Translate. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go and say control D and we'll add it to our desktop uh, at desktop toolbar and there so we can always keep popping back here now we had some uh, we had the languages uh, saved so I say control B oh and I'm not that did did I did I not do control V? Hmm. Go back here. I did yes I I went on not do control C um, so I go to there and let hopefully it's gone through. There we are. Now, of course, if we want to translate it to Spanish, we click Spanish, it goes into Spanish, and we want to Arabic. Uh, and, of course, everything goes in the opposite direction there. A uh, bit like the Americans driving on the wrong side of the road. Especially coming to England and doing, doing the same here and killing people. Well, we, we'll choose Chinese. Uh, I also like Urdu as well. Uh, I think I think India is having a really hard time with the viruses at the moment. So where's Chinese? Uh, Chinese simplify. I don't know the difference between these two, but I, I presume traditional will be okay, right? Right, okay, uh, and that's what we, we have there. So we make a Chinese document, we can copy all this, uh, I wonder why, I wonder if that means it works from the bottom to the top. Anyway, I'm not too, not too sure. Uh, because that might be the title uh, at the bottom here I'm showing, showing with my little cursor so I, I control C to copy it uh, and I go to documents where have I got one up no I haven't got the document up yes right okay so there we are I have another one uh, so we, we've got that uh, the English version uh, we make a Chinese version by opening a new one open text document and we put control B and there we have our, our uh, uh, text uh, text oh no I don't know what that Windows 12 uh, Jiglan ban is uh, that's probably telling us it, it in the English format how, how to pronounce it hmm. right so we can, can do control save and we can call it Chinese well I think Google Translate is great fun and I use it for everyday emails to impress people uh, right I will be making a video about Windows 12 as I said uh, with the uh, with the, uh, the adapter mm. uh, 
pictures, pictures, in the pictures. There, there's the backup adapter. Uh, so, I hope you will look in there. Uh, so now we'll, uh, we'll we'll start on an extra thing uh, I said yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure if we've actually. Oh, there we are. We have saved FileZilla, and I thought we had put it on the desktop. Oh, there we are. We got puzzle now. Okay. So to run puzzle, you put you make a new site. Now on the left is all my fighter. Uh, we'll use temp templates directory because that's empty. Now, if you want to to save it, your documents, you can click on documents and say download, and it will all go into this directory you've made. But what we'll do now here is go to light. Uh, this is Windows Light so we download that now of course you can edit all in in web houses or in templates your files and then put them back so what i want to do here is i rename it to macaloo and that will have all the light files in which then we can be edited so we'll upload them and there's the MacLew disk directory we go into the directory by clicking on it and it's got help on installing uh, headers etc uh, so we can see the files better by moving this along and here you see how I've made Chinese help installing French etc uh, so separate directories for those the files are made up uh, with a header so if we look at help installing we right click and click on edit now hopefully genie will come up and it has done now you see we include the slide show which I've shown you earlier and the header which has all the formatting now here we have uh, the uh, all, all the explanations that you will see on screen if you go to webhouses.co.uk uh, light and look at help on installing PHP now what we are, we are now in Makulu uh, so we want to change everything to say Makulu uh, it also has images uh, so those images also will have to be changed uh, because Windows has a feather as the I icon uh, in the menu and so uh, uh, we we'll, we can ch uh, ch change all those. I won't do it at the moment; it's time consuming. But the best way to change everything from Windows 12 Lite 
to Macaloo Linux is go to edit oh no search replace so we can turn windows 12 light and replace every occurrence with that uh, by Maclu Linux I'm Mr. Are you out? Maclu There we are So we can click on find let's move this out of the way and it will find it and we can replace and it's replaced it you see it's replaced it so uh, we can also use replace and find it finds the next one uh, clicking again replaces it that way we can go through the documents a quicker way is to to click on replace all in the document so all of those would be uh, changed uh, okay so now you still it see it's red here that has uh, has not been saved so we do control s to save it now when we go to FileZilla ah we've got the wrong FileZilla there that's uh, that's the start ones that's the wrong one as well right to close that one down and this is the one we're using now now it's found a file has changed so you have to upload it so you can say yes now let's see what we have actually done there we uh, we can close that down and we close genie down uh, we go to FileZilla we go to web houses right, web houses there we go and now it's Macaloo we want to look at that slash help installing PHP. Oh dear. So let's let's see what's gone wrong here. Help installing the PHP Makulu. Yes, it should have been there. So let's keep that up just for a moment so we can see it get the right thing so we go to web houses ah I see what I did I missed the P out See if this is correct. Uh, help installing that PHP. That looks right. So let's hope. Ah, we've got that. So here's the slideshow again. Like I, I told you, was in the he uh, the slideshow was in that header document. 
Now it says Macaroo Linux. Now all these have to be changed and I change those by getting those in GIMP. You can do this save image as uh, light ping you save it and you copy the colour and then with the paintbrush you make a rectangle then the paintbrush you erase the light and you type in uh, with a text box Macaloo and you'll be able to change all these you have to go to images you see you've got images and you you make you make it first here put it in your windows uh, folder uh, uh, we've got the templates I know uh, you put it here then you upload it and then uh, into the images directory and then when you next go here uh, and you've changed the text uh, uh, to say macaloo.ping instead of light.ping uh, all your buttons will start working of course this YouTube short tutorial uh, refers to Windows Lite so I have to change that when I've uh, done, done this right uh, now of course there's still things here because I've just done light so I should choose Macaloo and uh, 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 I don't think I'll give it a, a uh, number uh, I think it's 18.05 at the moment uh, so so all those search and replace I can do that so I go here uh, Macaloo. Ah, I know I've, I've got it in Genie still, haven't I? So uh, we can. What we're going to do is change the light 4.8. Now I mark it. So the next time I go to search replace it says oh you want to change that so it's uh, so I, I replace all in document uh, save it again control s filezilla says oh you've changed it update right and we go back here and uh, that document's changed so we reload it and you see now it's Macaloo Linux so I hope you've got a good idea there of using FileZilla and GIMP and uh, I'll continue with that make this video and uh, uh, put it up here so people can sit, see the uh, how, how to uh, uh, how to work with Macaloo install etc and this bit uh, this video I'm going to uh, later uh, add this to my previous document uh, where I finished yesterday uh, right okay so uh, now, so I hope you can su will su uh, click below and subscribe, and uh, uh, and, uh, and and uh, yes, well, uh, uh, ah, there was screen record. So I have to finish the the screen record by save save recording.